<laughs> oh man. That's what you guys ran and grabbed all that for? Mine. See, here's my big fat one. I haven't trimmed it yet. Here's mine. <laughs> oh. Wow, so lately I've been collecting an amount of footage from these children. And lately these children have just been having some fun hobbies. There's a pile of them there. I don't know if you see all those brooms. They've been making brooms lately. And we've got a lot of stuff here because they're cleaning out this old quail barn and preparing it for something. So here's inside of here, but we want to give it a good scrub as well since we have a concrete floor in here. And um, I was collecting that random footage of these kids making these making these brooms just because I thought it was worthwhile. I'd kind of walk by, see them doing it, roll the camera a little bit. So I will play a bunch of that right now real quick to give you an idea about what's been going on there. And then I'll come back and show you my project here. Child, what are you doing? Sweeping the quilt pen because mom can't, mom doesn't let us use her broom for inside outside. That makes sense. So she doesn't let you use her inside broom outside, so what'd you do? I made a broom so I could sweep the quilt house. What are you doing? Um, I'm making a broom for Bugger and one for me. Wow, what'd you make? I'm making a duster. A duster? You wanna go dust off my rocks over there? My, my stepping stones? Thanks, son. Huh? First, I gotta cut this. Okay. I don't know how to cut <laughs> Child, excellent job. Yeah. And I'm still gonna cut some of this. Yeah, or just tie more rope on it to <laughs> seal it on there. Yeah. Like that. And you're just enjoying the gorilla cart? Okay, we got some work to do with that soon. Very cool. You guys are back at it again? Yeah. Dude, that looks nice. Pinky helped you with that? Yeah. And I make a little duster. Well, I'm gonna go check out this broom manufacturing facility you guys got going. <laughs> Oh man, that's what you guys ran and grabbed all that that's for? That's mine. See, here's my big fat one. I haven't trimmed it yet. Here's mine. <laughs> Whoa. Boy, this place is going to look nice. You guys got those scissors? You guys can use my strong ones. Okay. I give you permission. See monster checks? I do. I do the monster That was amazing. This Buddy is all mine right here. Oh, you got one for bugger? Nice. Okay. Well, way to go, guys. You guys keep being um, creative and productive and my little broom makers. You kids have such wholesome hobbies, I'm just going to say. And it's all work related. <laughs> oh, baby girl. Monster Chuck said he went to film on Google. Oh, yeah. Well, he probably doesn't know how that works yet. I know. I told him. It. Craigslist. Yeah, Craigslist. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I think he went to go grab my uh, thing, huh? My scissors? Yeah. Wow, you wound that up really nice. Yeah, other than this. That's fine. <laughs> this is a good spot. Mine doesn't look good. Alright. So my project is, I'm going to make like a push broom scrubber is the goal. Um, we've got the resources. It'll also be made for free. The children said I could use some of this stuff. So I'm just going to get some of the baler twine and get the sticks I think I need and see if we can't make a nice stiff bristle uh, push broom kind of scrubber to scrub that because I'm not going to the store right now to buy one and uh, I think within just a couple minutes I can make one that'll work pretty well. 
So uh, I'll get the resources and then show you what the plan is. So I've never done anything like this before, but I'm thinking if I take a stick and another stick and I pretty much mount this stick to it, I'm thinking I'll have to screw it on there. Take some of the uh, grasses first, fold them over, tie them tight, and then cut them off. And I'll tie them with some of this baler twine. And um, I see, I think it should work. Um, we'll give it a go, we'll see what happens, and uh, should have a push room here in a moment, so we'll figure it out. Over here, bugger! Hey, homeboy. That's good. Okay. That's good. Yep. Yeah. I'm trying to make this. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna do like that, and then I think bristle it up. So we'll go like that and like that. And like that, and then we'll put on our next one. I think that'll work. I'm just gonna keep doing that, trim them straight, and see if I can't get a nice, tough, bristled little scrubby broom. All natural, free, biodegradable, compostable. I think it'll work. So at this point, I got five of them looped on. I'm gonna trim them, add a couple more, and then we'll see if we can kind of reinforce this by tying it a little bit tighter and seeing if this uh, kind of scrub broom will work. Ready, bugger? Yeah. He's ready. So at this point, I've got my bristle head. Looks like it's pretty stiff, pretty good. I gotta tie it on there pretty tight. And I think at this point, I'm gonna take the handle, screw it in the top of here, and take this extra string and lash it to it. Once I get to that point, I may shorten these by snipping them off just to um, make it easier to get to those hard to reach places. But I think this could be a pretty good kind of scrubber. Yeah. We'll find out, let's try. Yeah. couple things here. I'm sure at this point I could probably go on YouTube or on the internet or to the library, check out a book, and find a great way to make kind of a, a push broom, uh, a scrub brush, whatever. There's probably a lot of good how-to's and stuff like that, but the thing is, if things get really bad, we're kind of in a state of affairs where nobody knows what's going to happen, um, I might not have access to the local library. I might not have access to the internet. Therefore, if I can think in my brain, come up with something on my own, it just kind of seemed like what would make sense, uh, give it a try, and then if it doesn't work that well, use my brain again to put forth the effort mentally to improve it, that's gonna help me a lot farther in the long run than just being able to speak to my phone because that may not always be there. Let's give it a try. All right, we're gonna call this moment of truth. And we'll probably add some water to this too. Son, could you just hold this really still and try to point it at what I'm doing? Let's 
see. They do kind of all turn a little bit still. I could do something to secure that. Oh wow, that really scrubs. Yeah. So I think we'll add some water and uh, we'll give this a scrub in here with this. It definitely is gonna work. And the cool thing too is it's covered in some rabbit manure and stuff like that at the floor level. So um, the fact that we could just kind of compost this eventually, that's good. We don't want to be using some sort of broom from the house out here in this environment. Got to keep things separate. But should be able to use this at least all year. It only took me a couple minutes to make. Learned a couple things and uh, there we go. So I got sweet pepper here, standing on it for a moment. And what I'm going to do is through a couple of these end ones, I'm going to screw, just to screw through the whole water there and see if that can help hold it in place because right now the whole stick can kind of rotate. And I think if I did that, they would pretty much hold it in place where the bristles would be stiff and still. And then another thing I could do would be just to put, I think, an extra board, an extra stick on the back of here to hold them in place and screw those together. I think that would have the same effect. Maybe I'll try that instead. See what I mean about brainstorming, though? This is, uh, this is fun and it's useful. Let's see if that works first. So I actually went with this way and just applied a stick and screwed it in place four times to the other stick and I'm thinking that'll add to the rigidity of it. It was not my first thought. Hop off baby girl. It was not my first thought. Oh yeah! That's definitely a ton stiffer than it once was. Let me give it a try here with this water on the floor. Oh yeah! That is one stiff bristled broom! Wow! I'm gonna scrape this up in no time. Wow. Well guys, there you have it. Creativity, trying to solve my own problems for free. Just took a couple minutes of time. The kids learned a few things too. And uh, now we've got a perfectly fine bristle broom to use out here to scrape poop off of concrete in the old quail barn. That works. All right, what do we say? Monster truck out. Sweet pepper out. So this was actually Pinky Pepper's project. Red Pepper's helping her. I'm gonna see if they like my broom because they definitely like theirs. Girls? Yeah? What's going on? Right now we are cleaning this old quail house so we can have our meat chicks in here and uh, maybe the chicks that I'm buying. Okay, can you step out for a minute, Red Pepper? I'm gonna see how this is working for her. All the water piles in that corner, so you just have to... Yeah, spread it really neat here. And you think that's working okay? Yes, it's working very good, and uh, Red Pepper has been cleaning the windows. Okay, and you guys see how I made that? Yeah. You I just... just took one stick, folded it over five different times, just kind of tied them together, and then I pinned them together with that second uh, stick, and that keeps them from kind of going like this. Otherwise, that stick just spins in the middle and they can roll, or they can spin on the stick. So, and we also brought soap. Yeah, you yeah, add a little soap to it, that's good. And we're having the door shut just so all of our water doesn't escape. Okay, so that actually works. It touches yeah, enough yeah. to the bottom that, cool. Well, I'll let you guys get back to work. I was just making sure it would work for you. Okay. And then we'll kind of spray the walls a little bit maybe. Yeah, and then I'll just leave it open, open the window, and leave it open and as dry as it can be for a while to air out in preparation. Oh yeah, get that stuff off of there. And we're gonna maybe clean the outside of it too. Okay, cool.